I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't gonna make it. You caught me by surprise. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> This is a college medley. It comes from the first movie I ever saw, a musical. When I was 12, they were all musicals, and they were all identical, and they all had the same title, College Days. They were all about high school. The picture always opened up on the big white steps. No school, just big white steps. A lot of boys with sweaters and a lot of girls with no eyebrows. And they're all sitting on the steps, and one of the kids, Mary Astor, says, Hey, everybody going to the big dance tonight? And one of the other kids, Warner Baxter, says, You tell them, Cuddles. Then up pops another kid and he says, Say, why don't we all sing? Of course, it's Dick Powell. He steps forward, they all form two straight lines in back of them, and they start with letter E. E stands for East Peoria Butchering and Agricultural Vocational High School. Stand for East Peoria Butchering and Agricultural Because it's my school We do not learn geometry or history of France Hey, we do not know the alphabet But brother, can we dance? Sis Boomba, Sis Boomba Put him on the dean's list, rah, rah, rah For dancing and romancing Is the student's golden rule At East Peoria Butchering and Agricultural Vocational High E-A-S-T-P-E-R-I-N Boy Vocational high school. Then came the plot. It seems that one of the seniors, Milton Sills, hates Dick Powell because he's always singing. Not only that, but Milton comes from a very wealthy and aristocratic family, and he can't stand Dick Powell because he's poor. Right here is the tension. Somebody has smuggled a pretty girl into Warner Baxter's room. He thinks Dick did it. But Baxter is actually secretly married to the school librarian played by Clifton Webb. Now, the dean of the school, Lillian Tashman, has announced that Dick Powell absolutely has to graduate this year because the school does not give diplomas to anybody over 35. She wants him to go to college and study music, but Ginger Rogers wants him to stay and play ball. This, of course, leads right into the big love song, sung, of course, by Ruby Keeler. We'll build a farmhouse for two near Troy, where we can spend our days being corny, growing maize. And when the corn cribs full, you and I can shoot the bull. He's such a nuisance to the cow. We'll build a farmhouse for two near Troy. We'll drain life to the dregs while the chickens lay their eggs. And I can do the same for you in our cozy little farmhouse for two. Near Troy. Then, the finale. To get Dick out of high school, they arrange with the English teacher, Henry Armetta, to have Dick take a special test. I don't want to ruin the story by telling you how it comes out, but this leads to the finale, education. Who needs an education? Makes you a nervous wreck. Who needs an education? Take a vacation and learn to neck. Hey, hey, who needs an education? Latin and all that stuff. With my arms to nestle in a Chevy to wrestle in, who needs that corny stuff? Baby, you got enough, baby. You got E A F T P E R I A B. And in Troy, it's Albany 4, 3216. Vocational high. 